Hello, good afternoon, how are you? This is Ikoku CC from the African Press Club live in Barcelona. So today is the first day of summer and interestingly the lockdown has been called off. Why? Because there was so much pressure from people for the government to reopen the economy. I mean it's summer and Barcelona relies heavily on tourism for its finances so people need oh, the government needs money to come in so there was so much pressure today is the final down, final day of lockdown so the lockdown is over let me show you i mean there are people in the streets it's normal now well almost normal all the hotels are open restaurants bars sports facilities what else uh, the beach everything is open now you can eat indoors you can ride on the buses you can ride on the train life has returned to what they call the new normal so i'm gonna be talking to a couple of ladies it's summer so everyone is out today is sunday it's brunch so i'm gonna talk into a, a couple of ladies on how they have been in lockdown and what they think about today which is as you can see a beautiful day hello ladies hello. Hello. <laughs> you all look so beautiful oh, thank thank you. You. it's the summer yeah yeah first day of summer first day, first day of, summer. of summer so i'm gonna start with you um what's your name Vera. can you tell us what your dress is all about or your top and your skirt it looks beautiful this, this, is, from? this is i buy from senegalese people okay and this also from Senegalese people, so today I'm Fatu Diara. Okay. <laughs> Senegalese here or in Senegal? No, here in. Uh, um, ¿Dónde era el rotón? Se me ha olvidado. Benicassim. Benicassim. Okay, okay. Benicassim. And how do you feel in this attire? I'm feeling amazing, I'm feeling African and great. Wonderful. Okay, so you <laughs> can you tell us a bit about your attire too? I, don't, I, I want you to see the whole outfit. Yeah. So I bought this in Ghana uh, last weekend. Mm -hmm. No, last weekend. Last year, sorry. And mm -hmm. I'm, I, I just love Ghanaian fashion. They have so like many colors and design, very vibrant and very flattering. So you went to Ghana? Yes, last year. W what were you doing in Ghana? I was participating in an NGO program uh, with Global United Diaspora. So we were doing some like um, philanthropic reunion meeting with people from all over the world. And after that was done, we did some shopping. Okay. And, uh, it was great. Like fa like Ghan fashion. The fashion from Ghana is amazing. Excellent. So that's Cecilia. So let's come to you. Yes. Oh, you coming this to me? Is who, who, who are you? Tell us. My name is Liz. Mm -hmm. I am bueno. I'm from the world, but I was born in America. I'm here. Okay. Yes. Okay. So how do you feel today is the first day of summer? Today feels like the first day of school. Like I'm super excited. Um, I feel free. I feel more open. I'm ready to just get back into the street for sure. Okay. So tell us a little bit. How was it in lockdown? It was about three months mm -hmm. in total lockdown. Mm -hmm. It was serious. Yes. It, how did you live through it? Yes. Um, it was very serious. Luckily, for me my living situation is is not bad so I just tried to remain positive and um, do what was in within my control working out at home and uh, working from home so I survived but barely yeah, so working from home, what kind of job did you do? What kind of yeah. job do you do? Yes, I'm a language teacher, so I teach English. Um, and so working with children until adults, exam classes as well. Um, so dealing with the children at home was difficult because they're young and they have a lot of energy. Um, but I managed to do it perfectly. Okay, yeah. so let's come back to Cecilia. I heard that there was pressure on the Catalonia government to open the economy. You know, there, was, there were four phases of easing of the lockdown, phase three. one to four. It was supposed to be phase one to four, but now it's over. Today, even officially. Of, officially. So were you one of those that were itching or were eager to go back to normal life? 
Actually, not really. Oh, okay. Mm, not That's really, plain. Not really, because I mean, I've been able to meeting with my my sisters, mm -hmm. so in small groups. We don't like nobody really know what's happening and mm -hmm. how um, dangerous all this is. So we try to just remain uh, within what we can control and remain in groups that are you know manageable. So you know that's what we have to do yeah. and respect the the measures of security even if we don't know if it's actually working. But do what we can <laughs> and focus on the positive. Exactly. That's yes. what we do. Yeah. It's good for your mental health. It's good for your physical health. So that's what we do. It's really important to be surrounded by people who care for you, who root for you, and I root for everybody black. Okay, exactly. so Ray, okay. everybody black. And it's not and it's not enough to just say, you know, I'm thinking about you. This is a time where when you you care about someone, you reach out to them because you have nothing but time. And I think that was the blessing in quarantine. Is having the time to do things you normally would not do. Texting reach those, out people, reaching out, yes, texting definitely. those cousins that you don't talk to, friends that you want to mend fences with. Um, it really allowed for that time. So sure. we keep it positive over here, you know? So Vera, what's your plan for this summer? Mm, let it flow, let it go, let it flow, let it go, because we don't know what is right. going to happen. Right. We don't know. Mm -hmm. We don't know. Stay positive and stay focused on my Always. on my things. Always. But let it flow and let's see what happens. In terms Everything is very uh, yes and strange at the yes. same time. Yes, we don't know what to do. So I know that you are into uh, fashion and music and all of that. Do you have plans to restart? your business because mm. you're a DJ you do all sorts of interesting cultural things yes but because uh, there is some restrictions uh -huh. uh, so first we need to find like uh, you have to find a place that you can have only the half of the capacity and 50 percent of the capacity and apparently people cannot be like dancing on the dance floor you have to have like chairs and tables so we are thinking that we're gonna wait a little bit if we we can have like more um, how do you say um, capacidad para yeah, once they increase the capacity of people that can meet and we don't need and we, we we are not forced to have table and chairs because otherwise it's like people when when you are in a party you're not going to be like sit down all the time it's not working yeah it's not working yeah. And because my parties, the parties that I do, uh, African music, <laughs> dancing, is all about dancing and yeah. laughing, not like be like this on the on the table. No. In Zinga. No. Yeah. No. So how has the lockdown affected you financially? Because you weren't able to do any anything. But for me, like for all my friends, they are musicians. All the festivals, all the the discos. Nothing. Nothing. Did you get any kind of help from the government? No. Even oh. the musicians, a lot of them, they don't have nothing. So it was a terrible time. Yes. It was a terrible time. Yes. Oh, I hope that you can recover. Hopefully. <laughs> so can we I hope so. Can we see? Can you turn around so we can yes. see this? Yes, baby. You need fabulous. to be more. Okay. Slay, okay. Slay, baby. Slay, slay. Ooh. And slay. Ooh. And turn. Ooh. And slay. Oh, and slay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's come to you. Were you affected financially by the lockdown? Many people have been affected by the lockdown in a way that is called a reduction of the time they actually work. In Spanish, it's called ERTE. So it's an expediente de reducción de trabajo. And many people you will meet in the street will tell you, I am the ERTE, which means instead of working 100% of what they normally do, they are actually working 50%, 75%, 20%, depends. 
uh, we don't know how long this uh, is gonna. What about you? How did it affect this you? This is a very personal question. Okay. So this is this is what I can tell you. Yes. If you speak to people uh, without a camera, they will tell you my company and many huge company very like it, it's very common. Uh, so the the government is paying part of their salary yes. and uh, the company is paying the, the other part of it. What about you, Liz? Oh, me? Um, <laughs> well, because I teach English and um, I think teaching is a job where uh, you can easily transfer that online. Um, I was able to continue working. So as a blessing, I never um, struggled like a lot of my coworkers who are autonomous who are autonomous and they work for companies who have closed down um, so for me luckily I was able to remain stable and at the position that or at the level that that I am and able to pay for all of my things um, but I definitely know people who this has seriously affected yeah. mm -hmm. um, people who have just moved into apartments who now do not have a salary um, so for me it's been good but I'm just one person and, and I think on the larger scale, it's important for everyone to be able to have that financial security. So going forward, what, what do you foresee for the future after COVID? It's not totally over. Right. It's not totally over. What do you foresee? Uh, I think we, we, don't, we don't know nothing because yeah. they, really they I mean, the gov government, they told you something like okay now is uh, you can go outside and then but um, in china there is another uh, right. uh, oh, another, wave. Say, another wave another mm -hmm. wave in germany there's another huge wave mm. so i don't know we don't know, we don't yeah. know nothing yeah we don't know nothing we don't know nothing and What's this is not going to be the, the end of, of nothing because even uh, at the office because of the virus they don't need like a hundred percent of people working there so there's going to be many changes that we don't see now but we're going to see this uh, little no mm -hmm. Pequeños pasos, mm -hmm. no? yes. 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 many people yeah. now have to work at their homes yeah. and in homes i think they need to work like many more hours that mm -hmm. at the office so yeah. There's going to be changes. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning of this crisis, of this lockdown, Spain was at the forefront in Europe in terms of the number of infections and deaths. Did you think the government handled it properly? I think it's very hard for the government to be able to provide a clear answer about actually what is going on. Uh, for 12 days, the numbers of deaths have been just like, completely stopped. They need to make sure the, the measurement and the calculation were great because obviously it's not only about people who are dying from this, this crisis. There are people who did not go to the hospitals that were having heart attacks and other uh, issues. It, it, it's, it's really hard. Like nobody was prepared for this. We don't know exactly what's going on. We don't know if all the deaths that are actually linked to this actually are related right, really to, right, to this. Right. It's hard. It is right. like I don't have the answers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So final words. Do you have anything to say? Again, it's the first day of summer. Yes. Mm -hmm. it is. Look at your smiles. Yeah. <laughs> Live your life as if it was your last day. Oh wow. Because it could be. That, that's okay. it could be. Maybe because tomorrow we have be. to lock down again. Right. You never know. <laughs> Wear your mask. <laughs> we have our mask <laughs> in our purses, but we're all together, so it's cool. Wash your hands. Uh, get some sleep. Right. Drink lots of water yeah. be blessed <laughs> and I just want to say to the people who felt like they had to really elevate during this time it's okay if you had some mental struggles yeah. and you couldn't get there you yes. know like I, I see that there's a lot of people saying this is the time Pressure. where you elevate you have and to where you make it you have to start new and you have to do this no. but there are people who who struggle to make those advancements because they have yes. um, anxiety mm -hmm. with the situation of insecurity or whatever. So my advice would be to just not feel bad about that. Don't feel down on yourself because you're going through a time that's rough. It's like that. And then when you get past it, you move on. Okay. Don't don't, don't put too much yeah, you know yeah, don't put too yeah. much pressure on Being yourself. Being alive right now is the winner. Right? Yes. Exactly. That's yeah. the win. Yes. That's, That's the, the win. major win. Yes. Yeah. You're going through it and so we did a big step. So Thank you so much, so. ladies. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Big up African Press Club. Ah,
Belgian blessed club. <laughs> so you have seen uh, the vibe in with Barcelona. Um, if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel Ikoku CC, and uh, don't forget to ring the button so you can get a notice whenever we have new videos. I'm gonna see you soon. Take care now. Bye. Bye bye.